Now, you work full-time for the government. Yes. And you have a side hustle, which I think is very unique and very interesting, and I definitely want you to expound upon it a lot. So can you tell everybody a little bit about your side hustle and what you're doing now? I was waiting for this moment. My side hustle is what I dreamed to be when I was in high school as a drama major. My side hustle is print, model, and acting, commercials. And uh, I stumbled across that by uh, my son. My son does the same thing, and he had a picture of me on his social media, and the agency seen a picture of me and was like, who's that man right there? And he said, that's my dad. And they asked me to take some headshots, and I took some headshots, and I've been doing it ever since 2016. Doesn't surprise me, man. You're a handsome friggin' dude. You should have heard all the females, you know, running around the recruit depot. Uh, Ooh, Craig Burnett. Ooh, Craig Burnett. Ooh, I don't think my wife gonna like that one, but that's okay, though. Let's go. <laughs> hey, sometimes you just gotta be honest about right. things. Hey, I want to give the audience a visual because um, I think it's important, you know, to back up, you know, your words with some film. So uh, everybody stand by for one minute clip of Craig performing some commercials. I'm a retired member of the military with important information for you. If you are a veteran or have family members and others who were stationed, lived or worked at Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune in North Carolina between August 1953 and December 1987 and have been diagnosed with cancer or another serious illness, including kidney cancer, multiple myeloma, or various leukemias, you may have a claim for a significant conversation from the United States government. Call for a free case review now. Vacation by yourself is hard. Planning the wrong vacation is even worse. That's why with Avoya Travel, every vacation starts with a real human. That's me. We learn about you to help plan and book your perfect vacation. Did I mention that Avoya offers exclusive deals? Thing or two about tradition. I know a thing or two about technology. Always attend school conferences in person. I video conferenced my boss this morning. I always marinate steak overnight. My apps is delivering in 10 minutes. Always have ticket in hand for events. I have tickets in my digital wallet. About that money you owe me. Done. Thanks. f and Bank, where tradition and technology come together. Craig, that's great work, man. I love, I love watching your commercials. I love seeing your film. Can you tell everybody, um, you know, the body of work that you've done thus far? Okay, so far I've done uh, 34 commercials and print ads. Total, I uh, I did one movie. It was called Blood Pageant. Uh, Snoop Dogg was the main person, and I played a paramedic in it. I was carrying off a dead body. That's that was in the beginning stages. But uh, I currently have some stuff booked for next week and the following month. So it's it's steady work right now, but it goes in cycles. Like right now, the agency has a certain look that they put out there for you, and I'm that look right now. So I mean, I just count my blessings and say, you know what? Let's ride this thing to the end. Did you get the opportunity to meet Snoop Dogg? Unfortunately, I did now. Well, that's probably a good thing. You'd probably lose your government really job hanging around that too much. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you enjoy the most about that, about, you know, shooting commercials and doing part-time acting? What I enjoy the most about it, I get to really be myself. I can be myself in character and myself in who I am as a person. And also the people that I meet on set and behind the scene, because sometimes that goes on to something else that I might want to do later on. Because right now, like I said, I, I'm, I have two more years left working for the government. And I'm going to go full time in San Diego and Los Angeles, which are doing both. And it just opens everything up for me. So. So, Craig, you're 57 years old. You're going to retire from the government here in a couple of years. Um, where do you see yourself um, full time? Like, where do you see yourself long term? Long term, I see myself uh, still giving back to my community because, uh, you know, once you get those leadership principles and traits of the Marine Corps ingrained in you, it never goes away. So when I meet younger kids, this generation, I try to mentor them as much as possible and uh, I want to stick with that. But I also want to uh, push my acting game up to the next level with the opportunity uh, comes to me. Hey, there is a market out there for old timers. Not every part, you know, because all the young folk, you know it's, what I mean? But, but it's not old timers. It's called vintage. Vintage. Hey, eloquence. There you go. Eloquence. Look at this hair, baby. It's like this straight eloquence and handsomeness. <laughs> this is good. We, you and I, man, we like salt and pepper, baby. You and I. <laughs> we've been together since the... Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. It's on you. Flip the script, baby. All right. Hey, Mark, uh, so I have a twofold question for you. So my first question is, what made you want to start the podcast? 
And two, how far do you want to take it? First question, why did I start the podcast? Um, I did it because I was looking for a way to give back. And I figured the best way that I could give back within the comforts of my own home, because I love being at home, I love hanging out with my wife and my son, was to do this venture. What I see out there, I see a lot of negativity. It's everything is political. Everything is you know, very emotional. And I wanted to create content that was positive, where somebody could take a rest from that and be inspired, hopefully a little bit, and listen to other people's great stories and great journeys that don't have the platform to tell them. I just have this kind of like fuck average mentality. You know, life is short. Be friggin' exceptional. Don't be friggin' average. And then to answer your other question, where do I see it going? Who knows? Right now, I enjoy what I'm doing. And, you know, I'm always listening for other opportunities. I've been invite to spe- invited to speak on some podcasts. We'll see where things go from there. But my short-term goal is to be monetized through subscribers, through hours viewed, to contribute to the Amphibious Assault Vehicle Memorial, which is near and dear to my heart. Did I answer your question? Yes, yes, I did. Outstanding. And while you say average, my license plate says hate being average. Just let you know that. (laughs) That's good, man. That's really good. Hey, you know, it's true, man. Like, it matters, man. Like, I I just don't believe in just going to work every day and don't be, don't doing productive things like do productive shit with your life. Right. You know, that's just how I feel. We all have a purpose. Yeah. Brother, I just wanted to say to you, Craig, that again, thank you for making the trip down from Philadelphia, you know, and sacrificing some time, you know, with your loved ones up there to come spend some time with, you know, me and my wife and your lovely, I got actually got an audience here. We got Didi sitting over here in the lounge chair. We got my wife, Tamara, sitting in the lounge chair. Thank you both for your support and uh, allowing him to be here. Craig, save rounds, final comments over to you. Hey, hey, like I said, I appreciate being here, but you said sacrifice. This is not a sacrifice. Service was sacrificed. This is something I love to do. For This is what the Marine Corps is all about. When you say brotherhood, camaraderie, esprit de corps, all that stuff, this is it right here where we pay it back. I'm paying it back to you. You paying it back to the viewers out there. And this is what it's all about. This is what the word simplify really means. Yeah, that's right. Simplify Dallas in action and in words. Yes, sir. And it's a, it's a big step, you know, like to do what you're doing and to do what I'm doing. It takes a lot to put yourself out there because you're an easy target, but you just got to say, oh, well, too bad, so sad. And you just got to keep on moving forward and doing what you know is right. That's why it's called left for a left. Damn right. Thanks, Craig. Thank you so much. All right, we're going to shut it down here for the afternoon. Greatly appreciate everybody tuning in. I hope everybody has a great weekend, and we'll see you all soon. Take care. Love you guys. Left, right, left. Keep moving forward.